Hi everyone and welcome to, so we're going to pick sunny weather guys for this one because the weather conditions are not very good today. So welcome everyone uh, as you join us today on our next leg up the east coast of England. So as you know we started off down here in uh, Skegness and we've worked about the coast and now we're covering an area that's going to take us up to Saltburn and then we're going to make a turn and we're going to go for Middlesbrough then we're going to head over to Stockton and then Billingham then over to Seaton then we're going to come over here maybe check out this little dock area head up the coast to Blackhall and then we're going to land at Shotham. So that's the route we're taking today, guys. Uh, and then the next one will be Newcastle. <clears throat> so we'll jump straight onto it. So thanks for joining us. There's a couple of things I'd like to mention before we start. Uh, firstly, this is live streamed at the moment on Twitch but the upload will be going onto YouTube probably maybe slightly edited who knows sometimes I edit videos sometimes I don't uh, and if there's anywhere you want me to fly uh, drop us an email to raymondofamilyadventures at gmail.com and uh, we'll see what we can do or you can find me on Instagram and you can contact me there or please you know pop onto YouTube check our YouTube channel out Raymondo Family Adventures we don't I don't just do things like this I do um, I do walking hiking geocaching with my family so feel free to pop on there and say hi But obviously this is a tour, a UK tour, um, that I'm doing, trying to fit in uh, into my schedule. And obviously I'd, I'd uh, ideally love to add, you know, any other destinations that uh, you want me to go visit. If you uh, live in a particular town, you want me to visit it. But uh, um, the main priority for me guys is that you jump onto YouTube and subscribe to my channel on there. And uh, if you're on Twitch, then uh, give us a follow on Twitch as well. Okay, straight up, guys. <clears throat> it should be a Fairly simple flight along. So the first base we're coming up to, guys, we're going to be obviously heading towards Middlesbrough. We're heading up to the first place, which is uh, this tram mire. Which is not too far from Whitby. And then the scaling reservoir uh, is the next place that we're going to be flying over the scaling down.
and it also has a sailing club so pretty much flying straight over it guys There we go, over the sailing club. The scaling dam. The scaling reservoir. So we are heading in a pretty much straight direction. will take us over mm, roughly Grinkle Park Hotel and then from there we should be heading towards Loftus and Skinny Grove that, that's, that's roughly where we're heading So I say the weather is so bad today I've had to change it and make it um, a bit clearer. Because it's kind of no point in me doing these videos if I'm not showing you around. So skinning groves over here, so let's check out skinning grove before we uh, continue. Not sure if anyone's watching this and they live in the area, they'd probably like to see it. Skinny Grove's got a little um, a little car park to visit. I like that it's in a little valley again. So it looks like an interesting place to visit. Big dip there as well. So this is clearly our way down into Skinning Grove. With a little beach at the bottom. So turning it around now, we'll carry on. Over this golf course. Which is the Hunley Hotel and Golf Club. Chat there. Love us. Um, something here called the Fan House and a charm bracelet. Something called the charm bracelet.
So the next place we're coming up to, guys, is Saltburn. Saltburn by the sea, this is called. It's got a train station, a beach, as you can see. like a little nice place to visit it's got a nice little beach there is a train station here which I'm guessing will take you to Middlesbrough a couple of cool paths that lead down the hill to the seafront A small caravan site to the left, which is Hazel Grove Residential Park. It's actually a residential park. Actually. And then we're coming up to Mask by the Sea. And then we are coming up to Red Dar. To the left of us will be Red Repcar Rugby Union Club and the Football Club. We're not quite there yet, guys. We are coming up to it now, though. There's the uh, an Outward Academy. Outward Academy below us, which is the secondary school. We have one near me, and an Outward Trust. And now we're coming up to Red Car Union Rugby Club and Football Club. And uh, my son has, has uh, just played rugby. He loves football as well. He's his passion, um, but he's uh, yeah, he's not bad at uh, he's not bad at playing rugby. It's been his position is right wing. He's a fast boy, really fast. So now we're basically we're going through red car uh, section of red car. get a good view set it down just a little bit so you can get a good view of it as you can see red car is quite big red car beach Got like a little oblivion, uh, a little whatever that is. The the red car beacon. Oh, that was cool. You know, I've never been to red car. Never been. But just looking at red car now, this is on my list of places I want to visit. Got a huge car park. So what I'm going to do here, guys, I'm just going to take a spin around and have a good look at red car. Because red car is not somewhere I've ever thought of going or visiting, but now you put this on my radar. Red car is now on my radar of places I'd like to visit. It certainly looks an interesting place. It's got a massive beach.
Okay, guys. So, well, I'll show you a red car race course because obviously, does it? You know, the red car is actually quite famous for its red, its uh, horse racing track. So we'll have a quick look at that. Well, I never knew it was just in the town like it is. never knew it was just in the town like that. That's really interesting. Okay guys, so let's get over red car. And then what we're going to do guys, we're going to follow the road. We're heading to Middlesbrough now. Before we cross the um, Tees mouth and the River Tees. I'd like to just follow the road uh, down to Eaton Millsborough. So, as you can see, it's a quite a built up area of industrial units here. And chipping and uh, gas works. So we'll head along the side of the industrial units here. Industrial zone. So what we're going to do guys, is going to take you to Red Car Bay Speedway and the Autodrome. And then I'm going to try and take you around to the Riverside Stadium. is the home of Middlesbrough Football Club. Do we get one of the subjectives off the screen because we don't really need that. Let's get rid of as well. Right, so try and slow it down a bit guys. Well, stop the rate of climb anyway. So I really want to give you a view of um, Middlesbrough. Ah, oh, Middlesbrough's a big old place. Big old place. Now that dome building there, I've, I've got no idea what that is. Absolutely no idea. But we're not far from... The speedway. The speedway's there below us, so... Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the stadium. Let's see if we can find the stadium. Well, I see the stadium.
We just follow the um, the path that takes you straight to it, pretty much. So we are guys, we are now at the stadium. Which is called the Riverside Stadium, the home of Middlesbrough Football Club. It's worth showing you that. A grand stadium that is. Okay guys, we're going straight over I'm gonna head straight over with the uh, the city. Uh along the side of the river. Be the main hub of uh, Middlesbrough basically, this area is. do guys just follow the main river so we've gone past the big kink in the river and um, I'm basically taking you down to Stockton on Tees that is the plan as you can see it's a busy old place this area And you can see the whole, the whole area is quite built up. You know, there's a lot, there's a lot here, but it's you know, fairly built up area. Nice little park there, look. This is kind of what I wanted to show you, because I want to show you this area around here. There's lots of like apartments within like uh, it's got like little dock area, little docks area. I imagine it's quite expensive to uh, be and live in this area. I can't get my head around all the amount of geocaches that's probably in this area though. It's making me want to visit this area now. Uh, Redcar and uh, Middlesbrough and, and Stockton. So fly over the base, base of uh, this area. Let's check out this big ground here, over here. I think this is where Stockton Sixth Form College is. So if anyone watches this and they go to the college. Wow, that was quite an impressive looking building. What a sight. It's quite big. Quite big indeed. Right, so now I'm making a turn, guys. So we are getting a bit away from the coast here. And after all, this is a coastal tour. Uh, now we're flying over the hospital, guys. If you want to want this mass building here, it's... Uh, it's a University Hospital of North Tees. I want to give you a quick look at that. And continue on our way. Okay, now we're going to head 
basically over the opposite side of the river. Still keeping it fairly low. So the plan is we're going to kind of fly over Billingham. So what we'll do is we'll get up a bit, guys, and then you can get a good view. Bring it up a little bit. That's it. Right, so we're now heading back to uh, Seaton. That's the next destination, guys. It's Seaton. And then Hartlepool. Hartle Pool, sorry, not Hartley Pool. Um, country Park. This is the RS PB Salt Home, while I was here. This area, I do believe. this area do you believe yeah yeah that's over that that's over basically over this side so all that area over there it's RSP it's just like protection of birds society area you can see it's the loads of marshes and uh, loads of water we're just uh, on the opposite side of the A1185 See this on the maps. This is where the Venator is. And Tees Bay Business Park ahead of us. North Gear Beach is straight ahead of us. Then we'll make a turn and we'll go over Seaton. Seaton Crew Beach. But yeah, this is an area that I've never ever been to. Never been on this flight that we've on today. Never covered any of this, any of this area. And it's definitely, definitely on my list of places to visit now. Definitely. There's quite a lot to see around here. There's more to see around here than I even imagined. So now we're coming over Seaton Crew Beach, uh, and you can see. Yeah, it's got a massive beach. A massive car park for the beach and coach park. This place has got a few places, a surf bar, a surf side fish bar and the open jar. 
Hit the Jaws Pup. Restaurant, 4.4. Fish Bar, 4.3. That's just below us there. Okay, so now we're at a half to fall. And the marina. The half to fall marina. And that's a you know a decent sized marina that. Really big. Again a lot to see around this area. You get parked up and have a walk around. I imagine it's a really good place to visit. Another place that I'd love to come and, come and visit. Doing all this flying around, guys, it's making me want to just get out there. Do more walking. <laughs> and if you follow my uh, YouTube channel, uh, The Mother Family Adventures, we do a lot of walking. A lot of walking. Although that's uh, now we're getting into the winter season. Uh, well, we're in autumn now, but as we get towards winter, I've be, uh, basically uh, I've got a lot less time now um, to get out there. Um, my son is now playing rugby, um, and he's playing competitively as well. So we don't get as many free, uh, f as much free time now due to actual games and training sessions throughout this winter this year it's uh, it's really restricting us and uh, you know we're lucky if we can get one day a week to get out so but yeah if you watch our channel we do um, we love geocaching we do a lot of it um, we have to have lots of holidays or we'll try and get away as much as possible and ideally, I'd love the YouTube channel to take off and, you know, give me the option to just do more of it. More travelling. That'd be awesome. Anyway, that's for the future, guys. Right, so... I think we are coming up to Crindon. Crindon now? Yeah, Crindon. Uh, crimden has got a big Crimden Dean Holiday Park. Now that is actually on it's a Park Dean Resort, if you're wondering. So yeah, there's somewhere to visit around here. Uh, to stay. Crimden. And then we're coming up to, so we'll just have a quick look at that to find over it. You know what, that's a big site as well. So now we're going plus black or colour it. Um, I don't see any colouries now, I'm guessing there used to be one. Area. Black hole follow. Yeah, lots of interesting walking around here. And that's Polly's secret garden below, is it? So it's it's um it's not just Polly's secret garden. Obviously, it's an allotment. But, uh, that's an allotment. But Polly's secret garden is coming up on my my uh, map for some reason. So now we're at Little Turn Sculpture. There's a little uh, place here, and there's a car park, and you can walk around here as well. So now this place is called Horden. Oh, 
look at the colour of that. Uh, yeah. Very mucky looking water. So I'm making a turn now, guys. We're going over Horden because we have got a land. We have got a land. Well, I mean, technically, if we keep going, but I'm not going to. So we are we are basically coming over um, East Durham Cop College area. Actually, might just be that might just be um, south of where we are. What I need to do, guys, is I need to declare my landing declaration here, otherwise. We'll spin around here while we might messing us around. Alright. So Peter Lee is where we're landing guys. So give it a spin around. Well I've certainly got some work to do today because I have got um I wanna add these places to my list of places to visit. I should have selected West for London, but never mind. It gives you another good look at the area. You can probably work out where we are, guys, from here. Because the, 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 apparently, the, the, that's the colliery market down there. So I reckon that's where the, the colliery used, used to be. Whites. Right, Mark, I'd love to go and visit that. So we're making the turn here, guys. Now we're getting ready for a landing. So um, of course, we are going way too fast. So we'll try and slow it down just a little bit. So we're going over South Hetton now before we make a turn into our landing. So the airport we're going to is just a basic little grass airfield again. But this is where Sky High Skydiving is based. So Shotton Parish Community Park is also here. Uh, what's my chances of having a successful landing here today? If you live here, I guess you're used to this, planes coming over. <coughs> okay guys, let's have a bit of concentration for this one.
got no idea why my plane's just done that, but it's still today for some reason. We're okay. Ah! My problem is when this plane lands, it seems to have a mind of its own just as what it wants. But yeah, we're down, guys, so. We'll switch it off there. Thank you for watching this one. Do appreciate it. Uh, be sure to come on to YouTube and subscribe to the channel if you're new. That would be absolutely fantastic. And appreciate you taking the time to watch today. And in the next episode, we'll be flying all the way up to Newcastle. Um, check out Newcastle. And then we we'll might go a bit further up to Whitley Bay. And uh, you know, we'll head up the North Umbrian coast. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, once again, uh, we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.